Well, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to today's video, and I just want to say congratulate you on making it to episode 3 of the Greens Valley Sheriff Department. So that means you are live from VR Chat Lore! Yes! Congratulations! Okay, so in the last episode, we talked about Green Valley and the three little towns in that county. And I said that as these videos progress, we will be unlocking new sections of the map of VR Chat. Okay, so today, we're going to be talking about Verge County. That's where the main cities of Verge Chat are located. And that's usually where the LPD is usually concentrated in uh, protecting the area there. So on top, we have uh, Light City. That's where my cousin works. Okay, there's a lot of drug busts that happen there, but that's mainly because the docks are there, and that's where we get mostly all of our cargo for the country. Uh, under that is uh, the capital of VR Chat, and I want you guys to be the ones to pick what we should name the capital of VR Chat. So you guys leave some names, suggestions in the comments, and we'll pick the funniest one, the, cru the coolest one, or the stupidest one. And I'll let you guys be the ones to decide what we call this, uh, what, what we call the capital, okay? So leave some name suggestions in the comment and then we'll get back to that in uh, about a week or so. Okay, so under that we have uh, Scar City. That's a very dangerous town. That's where usually all the cyberpunk kids hang out. And usually if you drive your new car inside that city, yeah, it'll most likely get Grand Theft Auto. So please, please, please leave your, your hover cars at home, people, okay? And then under that, uh, by the rivers, we have... Uh, Neo Borealis, that's a nice little romantic little little city there. You see all the northern lights. Well, actually, correction, the southern lights there. And it's very romantic if you want to bring your dates there. Okay, so in the next video, we'll lock more sections of the map as we continue going on. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this training video. All right, I'll catch you guys later. We're just gonna grab your body and we're gonna throw it in the fucking car and then we're gonna ride down to the hospital which is right over there. Honestly, we could probably walk. What what in tarnation happened here? Another officer down. God, God dang it, this is the fifth time this week. Goddamn baller game, I can't wait to arrest him. Oh my goodness. Oh. It was actually that recruit right over there. I'm sorry. It was an accident. It's like my first day on the job. I didn't mean it. Are you serious? The recruits again? Every time we have an officer down, it's not by the criminals. It's actually by another goddamn recruit. That's it. We need a training video, Jesse. We need another training video. I keep telling them how the white shirts when you get training video for gun safety because it's ridiculous. All right, that's it. Grab the camera. Let's go. We're filming. Well, how's it going, everybody? My name is uh, Deputy Jizab, and right here is... Well, howdy. Uh, howdy. It's your boy, Kier. You already know it. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Alright, so in today's video, we're gonna show you nice recruits how to use a firearm because a lot of you are out there shooting each other in the ass, I mean, in the leg, so we don't want a lot of... We can't handle any more blue on blue, okay? Our, our medical bills are through the roof. Mm -hmm. So, today I'm gonna show you guys yes, how to properly use a firearm. Like, ah! oh. 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 It's okay, I, I meant to do that. I'm, I'm a professional, okay? I'm a very professional. Mm -hmm. I have the bachelor's mm -hmm. degree. I already graduated. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna show you nice folks how to use this thing called a, a, a gun or or to be more technical, a revolver, okay? This right here, it is a Colt Python. This is a 350 Magnum. It'll, it'll take down a goddamn buffalo in one shot in the rear, okay? So today, we're gonna show you guys how to use this thing, when to properly use it, because, you know, we don't, just because there's a child running towards you with a pencil doesn't mean you can shoot him, okay? We're gonna show you guys how to use non-lethal weapons and tactics and give you guys shooting tips over there 
be in the shooting range, right over there, okay? So, we're gonna introduce you to your fire instructor. Her name is Jessie. Jessie, come over here. Show the nice folks who you are. Come, come yeah, on, get over here. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. All right, so this is Jessie right here. She's gonna be your fire instructor. She's uh, she's very good at accuracy. I mean, I, I saw her shoot the wings of a butterfly from three miles away using a goddamn paperclip. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That, yeah, she she's very good. So stick around. Really? Number one, make, um, make, sure, make sure your safety's off at all times. No, not off at all times. What are you talking about? Only when it's necessary. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Uh, during confrontations, make sure your safety's off during confrontations. All right now, recruits, let me see your guns and see if the safety is off. This is why I told you that. God damn, put the safety on. Alright, now guys, I'm gonna show you how to properly stance and hold your gun. You place your feet firmly on the ground, grip your. Uh, what was that word again? Uh, your firearm. Come on, that's yeah, what just grip, just grip, Just grip your firearm perfectly and then. And get on the ground or I'll shoot your Whoa, knee! What are you doing? What are you doing? That's not how you do it. It's not! Oh, you gotta calm down. You gotta show these folks how to actually do it. Come on, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. It, it's, it's the PTSD. Jesus Christ. As I was saying, you need to place your feet firmly on the ground. Firmly grasp your gun and... Okay, listen, I need to take over the segment because Jesse just shot herself to teach these nice folks how to actually aim down your sights and shoot because I know you clone troopers are very good with accuracy. You guys never miss. Okay, so um, this guy will take over the segment and, and show you guys actually uh, about accuracy. Okay, uh, take over. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesse, what do you have? All right, my name is Tom Brown, and I'm going to teach you how to shoot your E-11 blaster weapon of choice. For the first step is you have to have your arms fully extended do not bend them and the second step is keep your eyes open do not close one eye a lot of people say do that as bad and when you're finally ready just gotta oh, oh, okay very funny how about you actually hit your shots this wait, time come on wait just, wait i serious. just came into work i haven't shot today yet let me warm up hold on, hold on. Oh, warm okay up. okay all right let's, let's see okay come on stop fooling around you were nowhere near again wait, no no, it's just look, the ventilation in this room. It's a little okay, windy. Listen, listen. It's blowing I, I my need blazers to stop off around. This is the training video. I'm trying to teach these nice folks how to shoot accurate. Okay, I know you're trying to be funny because you're the new guy, but I need no, to I got this. I got this. I got this. Right, right, final all right. chance. All right, last try. Just what, what, what are you doing? God yeah. dang it. What yeah. kind of a cool trooper are you? Stop at shooting. Lights, Jeff, take over. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, take over. Take over. I'm out of here. Do what our previous director Jesse have to go to the bathroom. I am taking over this training video. Our latest segment when to you abuse, I, I mean, use lethal, non lethal weapons. <laughs> That's right. In this lesson, we're gonna teach you about A, not the shit you breathe, but the acronym for when you need to shoot someone. They got, uh, you got A for armed, make sure they got their two arms, and if they got a weapon or a gun, those hands. Intent, that they got the intent to, to, to shoot you or stab you. And in range, make sure they're in range before you do anything. Oh shit, is that a child kill? This is the perfect opportunity to show them when to use air. Would you A, use your firearm, or B, a non-lethal, like a baton or a taser? What the? It's just a child, you should have used your non-lethal like your baton or your taser. God damn it, now we gotta do more paperwork. You listen here, kid, I'll give you one last chance. You see that guy shoplifting over there? Do you, now, listen, listen, do you want approach with your non-lethal and apprehend him or two? Do you go over there and shoot his ass? <laughs> Very well done. This is an excellent showcase of when to use your non-lethal. 
All right, I think you pack next, got it. I think you know when to use your lethal or non-lethal force thanks to Kiridai's excellent teaching strategy. But next, our next lesson is when to call SLRT, oh, even though man. we absolutely hate those guys for stealing our ATTE tank. All right, so for the last segment, we're gonna talk about calling for reinforcement. Remember, people, never do things by yourself. Call for backup if you need to. You're not made out of iron. You're flesh oh, and blood. No. Exactly, you're flesh and blood. So you, you see this right here? This is called a bulletproof vest, but it is not indestructible. You need to know exactly when you're outgunned. If you're facing a machine gun or a 50 cal, you need to call the SLRT so they can deal with it. All you have on yourself is this nice little pistol or yeah yeah a pistol or sometimes a little taser that's not gonna be enough to take out a machine gun or a kid running around with a laser gun okay that's why we have the slrt they're fitted with all the equipment that you, they they have to deal with that kind of threat a lot like like the tank they took from us in you know last week damn bastards so remember if your squad is caught in a pickle please call the slrt don't be a hero so now officer white right here is going to show you exact some examples on when you should either call for backup or try to deal it, deal with it yourself okay so officer white you see uh that huge officer over there decky right you see decky over there do you want do you Handle it yourself or two call for reinforcement like the SLRT or a, or maybe a long gun. Ready? I've got this. Are you, sure you don't want to call for reinforcement. That man outweighs you by a ton. No, no, oh my. Oh goodness, I didn't know that guy was gonna get squashed. Oh, okay, Jeff. Okay, so Jeff, I'm teaching oh, I'm these. I'm sorry, what happened? No, it's okay. Don't don't mind the blood over there. Okay, so Jeff, I'm teaching these nice folks right here on when to call for reinforcement and the SLRT. Do you want to give us an example? Maybe on that person over there, the the Terminator. Do you think you and your squad can apprehend him, or should you call for SLRT? I got this. No, wait, wait, I really think you should you reconsider. You can face me. C come on, man, that's the Terminator. You can't go Get up against him. You stand no chance. Gosh darn it, Jeff. How did you forget to reload? Reload your gun. Hurry up. Oh, He's gonna no. shoot you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Somebody call him, T. I'm surrounded by a bunch of idiots. All you gotta do is just call for reinforcements. All right, who do we have? Oh. Oh, perfect recruit. Um, fresh meat. I'm, I mean, okay. So, what's your uh, name? Oh, oh. I'm sorry. What? Okay, so we're basically teaching these nice folks right here examples on when to call the SLRT because we're not made out of iron. We're not Iron Man. Okay, so I'm gonna give you, okay, a little chance to redeem them over there. Okay, so. You see that old man coming at you with, with those with those uh, flaming swords. Do you think either one you can handle it yourself or two should you call the SLRT or maybe a lung gun? SLRT, I need backup. Oh, oh, wait, 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 I love you, oh, yeah, you know what? If you want to call SLRT on an old man? It's fine, whatever. Hell yeah. I, I guess if you want to deal with it, okay. Oh, I, okay, I, I had enough. Well, guys, I hope you guys learned something in this video about gun safety and how to properly use a firearm, when to call out for reinforcement, and oh my god, we have so much paperwork to do with everybody who got hurt. But anyway, my name is Deputy Sheriff Jizadgo. This is Jeff Jr., not related to the other guy who, who, who got shot 10 trillion times. So we'll catch you guys in the what? next training video. You shut your picnic self up. <laughs>